Can you imagine playing all your favorite 3DS classics with a screen that's bigger and controls that are even more comfortable? Sounds like a dream, right? Well, with EmuDeck, this dream can become a reality. Whether you're itching to replay the epic battles of Fire Emblem or dive back into the quirky world of Animal Crossing, this guide will show you how to transform your Steam Deck into the ultimate 3DS emulation machine. This may seem like quite the hassle, but trust us, it's totally worth it. Ready to turn your Steam Deck into a retro gaming beast? If you're as excited as we are about today's topic, show some love by liking and subscribing to Retro Pocket for more amazing content. Let's do this. Setup and installation. First, you'll need to install EmuDeck, a tool that simplifies the process of setting up emulators on your Steam Deck. EmuDeck handles most of the heavy lifting, from organizing folders to ensuring your emulators are updated and running smoothly. To begin, ensure your Steam Deck has sufficient battery life or is plugged into the mains. Slot in a high-speed A2 micro SD card, which you'll use to install EmuDeck and store your games. Next, press the Steam button below the left trackpad, highlight and select power, and then switch to desktop mode. In desktop mode, connect a keyboard and mouse to your Steam Deck for easier navigation. Open your browser and head to the EmuDeck website. Download the SteamOS version of EmuDeck and run the installer. Select Custom Installation and choose the SD card as the installation location. When prompted, select Steam Deck as the device. EmuDeck will display a list of available emulators. It's best to install all of them initially, as you can remove any unnecessary ones later. Even though the Citra emulator, which was originally used for 3DS emulation, is no longer supported, EmuDeck will create the necessary folders for 3DS ROMs. Ensure that Steam ROM Manager is checked, as this will add your emulated games and their artwork to the SteamOS library in gaming mode. Continue through the installer, configuring options like the CRT shader for classic games, and finalize the installation. Setting up gyro features. With EmuDeck installed, it's time to set up some additional features. Locate EmuDeck under All Applications and open it. On the left bar, scroll down to Third-Party Tools and click on Install Steam Deck Gyro DSU. This feature enables gyro controls, enhancing your gaming experience by utilizing the Steam Deck's motion sensors. Transferring 3DS Files to EmuDeck Now it's time to transfer your 3DS game files to EmuDeck. Open the Dolphin File Manager and click on the SD card labeled as Primary. Use the split option to open two file windows side by side. In one window, navigate to Emulation and then ROMs and open the 3DS folder. In the other window, locate your 3DS game files, which should have a .3DS extension, and copy them over to the 3DS folder in EmuDeck. Installing Lime 3DS Next, you'll need to install Lime 3DS, the emulator that will allow you to play 3DS games on your Steam Deck. Open your browser and download the Lime 3DS emulator from its official site. Look for the file that ends with linuxappimage.tar.gz and download it. After the download completes, unzip the file, right-click and copy the file named limeqt.appimage, then paste it into a memorable folder. Double-click on the app image and select Execute to run Lime 3DS. Configuring Lime 3DS Double-click inside the Lime 3DS program and use the search bar near Look In to navigate to your ROMs directory. Click Run, then Media, followed by the deck, and select the folder with random letters. Navigate to Emulation, then open ROMs, and finally the 3DS folder. Click Choose to add the 3DS directory to Lime 3DS. You can choose between OpenGL and Vulkan by clicking on the bottom left of the Lime 3DS application. Most games work with OpenGL, but if you encounter issues, switch to Vulkan. Setting up controls. To configure your controls, click the emulation drop-down in Lime 3DS and select Configure, then Controls. Hold the Steam Deck's Start button until it beeps to switch it into gamepad mode. Click on Auto Map and press OK, then press any button on the Steam Deck to detect and map the controls automatically. Press OK to save the configuration. Next, click on the Motion Touch tab on the bottom left of the screen. On the Motion Provider drop-down menu, select CEMU Hook UDP. Click Test and wait for the message that says Successfully Received Data from the Server and press OK. This test will only detect the servers if you have installed the gyro features earlier. 
adding Lime 3DS to MU Deck. To run your 3DS games in the Steam Deck's gaming mode, you'll need to add them to the Steam library via Emu Deck. Open the Emu Deck application and click on Steam ROM Manager on the left panel. Toggle the parsers off, click on Settings, and change the themes to Classic. Click on Create Parser and under Community Presets, select Nintendo 3DS Citra. Highlight Configuration Title Required and change Citra to Lime 3DS. Under the Steam category, change 3DS to Lime 3DS. Click Browse on Path to ROMs, navigate to your SD card under Videos, and select the 3DS folder. Scroll down and click Browse under Executable, locate the Lime QT app image and click Select File. Click Save to add Lime 3DS to the bottom of the parser section, but don't close Emu Deck just yet. Adding 3DS games to the Steam library? With Emu Deck and Lime 3DS installed and your 3DS games transferred, it's time to add your games to the Steam library. With the Emu Deck application running in classic mode, click Settings, select Theme, and change it back to Emu Deck. Open the Steam ROM Manager, click Yes to agree to close the Steam app running in the background, and toggle Parsers off. Highlight the Nintendo 3DS emulator. Click Add Games and then Parse. Wait for the 3DS games and covers to load, and click Save to Steam. If the images are set correctly, return to gaming mode by pressing the Steam button underneath the left trackpad, clicking Library, selecting Collections, and choosing Nintendo 3DS to launch the 3DS games with Lime Emulator. Fixing Missing Images on Emudeck Sometimes the Steam ROM manager might have trouble locating cover art for specific titles, especially for modded, imported, or translated games. To fix this, click on Fix in the game's image frame if cover art is missing. Type the game's title in the Fix artwork and title search bar, select one of the game covers on the sidebar, and scroll until you find a suitable cover. Click the cover so it is highlighted in white, then click Save and close in the top right of the Steam ROM Manager. If the 3DS ROM is named incorrectly, for instance, if there are numbers in front of the title, the Steam ROM Manager won't detect the game. Rename the file, delete the numbers, and refresh the Steam ROM Manager. Uploading custom cover art for Emu Deck. If the artwork for some more obscure titles isn't available, you can upload your own cover art. In desktop mode, open a browser and type the game's title followed by cover dot. Click image search and save your desired cover to the pictures folder on the Steam Deck. Open the Emu Deck program and run the Steam ROM Manager. Click on upload, Next to Fix, on the cover frame, select your image, and then click Save and Close. With the correct artwork in place, select Save to Steam, close the Steam ROM Manager, and return to Gaming Mode. Adjusting 3DS Screen Settings You may want to adjust the screen settings on your Steam Deck when running 3DS games. To change the dual screen positions and views, press the L4, L5, R4, and R5 buttons on the back of the Steam Deck. To save your 3DS game progress anywhere on the Steam Deck, press L4 to bring up the OpenGL frame. Select Emulation from the drop-down menu at the top of the screen, and then select Save State. If you experience issues with 3DS games slowing down or freezing, there are steps you can take to improve performance. Press the Steam button to access the Library option, select the Collections tab, and choose the Nintendo 3DS Square. Play a 3DS game and once it launches, press the QAM button, the three-dotted button underneath the right trackpad. Select the battery icon from the side menu, switch on Use Per Game Profile, increase the frame rate to 60 FPS, and switch on Half Rate Shading. These settings should improve game performance, although you might still see occasional drops during transitional screens. Conclusion? And there you have it! With EmuDeck, and Lime 3DS, you can enjoy your favorite 3DS games on your Steam Deck. This setup might take some time and effort, but the result is a versatile gaming device capable of running a wide range of games. If we talk about revisiting classic titles or exploring games you missed, the Steam Deck's emulation capabilities have opened up a world of possibilities. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips and guides on making the most out of your Steam Deck.